if you look at CU campus, the physical environment that makes you relax and promote health and well-being, uh, as opposed to some sort of both, there are inequalities in various health outcomes. This is related not entirely to whether you have money or not. Health equity means the differences in health between social groups. And if they're not avoided, they're unfair. It's the result of policies or lack of policies enabling people to have opportunities for the same health. For those medical items, about 20 to 30 percent of the population that they cannot afford to do this. That means that part of the service of policy has some deficit. I do research on foreign domestic workers. So they are under a different legal status in terms of policy making, then they become this elusive and invisible group. Normal kind of policies may not be adequately addressing their needs. In Hong Kong, older people tend to be neglected. We want to point out unmet needs of older people. We want to point out where things can be improved on. When the pandemic happened, I was alarmed and worried. The pandemic would expose the underlying inequalities in society and amplify them. And that's exactly what's happened. We realised that there's a big research gap and unless we address this, there will continue to be health inequities. This is a fairly new concept to Hong Kong. CUHK hopes to, in collaboration with the UCL Institute of Health Equity, to raise awareness at all levels in the public, in professionals and policy makers of the existence of various health inequalities and things that we can do to reduce inequalities. The mission of the Institute is to be a leading centre for health equity issue studies in Hong Kong and in the region. Look at interventions that can be developed to address these, and also to be a platform for Asian countries to develop studies in health equity. We are much more concerned of the upstream problem. Structural inequality exists in the society that leads to this kind of health equity problem. We will certainly be looking at government policies, reviewing in terms of the policies or lack of policies that contribute to health inequality. You cannot just look at Hong Kong. Inter-country comparison can broaden your research knowledge. Together with UCL, IHE, produce a report to document health inequalities in different stages of life and provide recommendations for policy makers. It's mutual learning, sharing knowledge and experience um, is going to be the best part of living in the globalised world that we do. Health equity is an issue of social justice. We want people not to be sick because of their status. Through our effort, not just the poor, but the whole population can be improved. We have a long longevity that's the envy of many countries. But what we're looking for, obviously, is not just longevity, but health. We can improve Hong Kong society to be more equitable one.